Good morning. Welcome to today's session on Excel training. And like I said yesterday, which was an introductory course to um, Excel for beginners. We were able to look at the whole thing that Excel is all about. And but today we are going to be looking at how to grab data from online sources, especially for you that you do Google form, you you have to do with you do with stock analysis, do with stock analysis, you have um, task that relates to that needs you to connect to online or web pages to analyze data. So today I'll be showing you how to do that in just a minute. So you can open a blank workbook down on your system like I've done now. So yesterday I told you that there is one function in Excel, the data. Now data, I told you on the data you will find this part of, of Excel, which is um, get external data. So let's try that. So we look at from web. So you look at get data, get external data then from web. We click on that. So we look at which web page do we share, are we going to go to? Fine. So I can easily Sorry, go Sorry, the screen is frozen. I can't see anything again. The screen is not moving. Okay. My screen is not moving. Okay. Let me be sure I'm sharing the right. Okay. I'm trying to share the Excel screen. Okay. Can you see my screen now? Can you screen my, see my screen now? Yes, it's fine. I can see it now. Okay, so. But I, I think you have to take that because I can't see how you got to this place. Okay, so like I said, this is the normal Excel homepage. The normal Excel page that you see. Then you click on data. Then you come to get external data. Okay? From web. You understand that? Okay, it's going to prompt this. You click yes, then come here. Okay, I want to go to Wordometer. I can either do Wordometer or NCDC. That's not, the NCDC is the Nigerian source for um, COVID-19 cases. So let's go to NCDC website. NCDC, let me just search for NCDC. It's like I'm browsing more in Excel now. I'm doing my browsing in Excel, okay? It's not getting me there. Okay, perhaps I might need to go to Chrome Hello. I, I I will share the screen. I'll share it. Okay. No, I think you are too fast. Like you are going. I can't. I'm just on data now. I don't know where to go again. Go to external data. Get external data. The first tab. Here. Here. Can you see my mouse? I think, I, let me let me show you my screen. I don't have that. Okay. Let me see you. I might need to. Okay. Can, can I'm trying to turn my camera. Can you see my camera? Hold on. Come in. Okay, let me see your let me see what you're doing. Let me see your let okay. me see your screen. Okay, this is what I have right now. Okay, you're coming to okay, which version of Excel is this? This is mm, I'm coming. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I can say it. Okay. Okay, go back to Go back, okay. Now you see from web, from web, from web, this one. Okay, yeah, I can see from web. Okay, click on it. Okay. All right, I have from the, web now. Okay, now. Now I need you to open Chrome. Open Chrome on your system, because I'm going to do that on my system too now. And go to NCDC. Let's search for NCDC, the NCDC website, okay. I want to share my Chrome screen now. Okay. So I'm going to look for NCDC um, COVID-19 cases. So I want to go to NCDC COVID-19 cases. This is the official side of NCDC. This is where they are showing us the live data, live reports of NCDC. Um, COVID-19 cases in Nigeria. 
They're showing us cases of COVID-19 okay. cases in Nigeria here. So what do we do? Just copy this web address. Copy it. Control C, like normal, then you copy. Sorry. Copy this. Copy. So by the time I copy this, I'll have to change the screen I'm sharing now. So I go back to my, so I can go back to my Excel now. I've copied what I needed to copy. So I go back to Excel. Okay. Now, on Excel, I go back, so I go to from web, then. Can I use, a, sorry, please, can I use another browser? Yeah, you can use any other browser. As much as it can get, it can, it can get you to NCDC website. And you can. Okay, okay. I think I'm to use it. Okay, or better still, let me just do this for you. On my whiteboard marker, I'm going to paste the address. Okay. I'm going to paste that. Okay. This is the web address that you are going. Can you see it? Yes, I can see it. So you are going to the NCDC website. This is the website you are supposed to go to. HTTPS dot covid19.ncdc.gov.ng That's the website you're supposed to go to. Do you understand that? So you copy that. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, so we go to share. So I have to come here. Okay, so right here now, I just put my website here. So we can do the magic. Yeah. So I click on go. So you will see Excel would go to browse that particular page. Do you see now? Okay. okay. You see this? So the wait for it till it is done with the page, it will bring exactly everything that is on this page for you. So the data we are really focusing on is the distribution by state. Like we want to see how Excel has, we want to analyze this data. These are the cases. So I click on import. And I wait for Excel to do that. Excel is going to import all the cases, all my data onto. So it, it is going to ask you where you want it to save that, import that data. So I click on Excel. This point, this point is where it's going to start from. Always be sure that you are starting from this point. Here. So I say OK. okay. So it's running a background query. You see it here on this down part. It's telling you that it's running a background query. That is, the exam is querying all the data from, you see now, COVID is getting the data from that particular website. So that's what Excel okay. is in at this moment. So you see, Excel is not just a baby tool. It's actually a powerful tool that can help you to do a lot of analysis that you don't even think it can do. So yes, my data is here. So you see it's reporting state emergency, institution report. Like it's gonna do it in such a way that your data is not yet clean. But yes, you can clean your data. So here now we have this from here to here. So all the cases, look at it here. These are the cases in Nigeria. States affected, number of cases, that is lab confirmed, number of cases on admission, number discharged, number of births. Those are the variables. So what do we do now? You can just simply open a sheet, a new sheet. Why? If you copy and paste directly, you will lose the refresh aspect of Excel. That is, you will have to be, you have to be copying and pasting to refresh your data every time. You get it? So okay. what you do is, what yeah. you do is, you just copy like this. Copy like I'm doing now. You copy like this. I'm going to make, take it as like a label, copy. Now I come to sheet two and I paste. I want to link, see this paste link. I'm paste linking link. this, yes. That is, if I refresh, if there's any update on that particular NCDC website, I refresh and I refresh this. Now let me paste the link now. If NCDC changes a data here, 
If I refresh my connection okay. here, I can refresh here. If I refresh this connection here like this, it's going to refresh it and run it. Yes, straight to the web, NCCD's website. If there is any change, maybe like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing like today's data is now. By tomorrow, if I refresh, it's going to update with the current statistics of the cases. So when it is updating here, it is also updating in my sheet too, too. You understand? Okay. So I don't need to copy yeah. again and paste. I have already linked the two cells, the two sheets together. I'm not missing out on any. Hope you get that. Okay. Yes. So at such, you're doing well. And so for example, let me just show you something. You see 2624 here, and we have 2624 here too. Let me just a little bit, 264 here. If I should change here now to, don't forget our data here, please. So 3,000, 3,000 now. Okay. You from here, you see 3,000 too. Do you understand that? That's changed. You see now. Mm -hmm. So don't forget it is 2624 here. Or wait, let's refresh this data and you will see what has happened. You see that this will refresh back to the initial data. It that, is that's all I need to click on to refresh my data. Yes, this refresh all. Up here. This refresh button here. Okay, I can see it. Yes, refresh all. Yes. Yeah, so once you click it, you see now that this is back at, at 2624. Yes. I and can if see you it. come here too, it is still 2624. That's changed. That is basics. That's the basic I need you to get from that. Now, okay. let's turn this around and make this a table. We make this a table to make our analysis easier. So we come here, home, format as table. You see this? Then we are turning this around into a table. So it's, I tell the exam, my table has headers, and okay. It says formula or no, okay, I don't want it, so let's leave it like this. Because once we do that, it says it's going to remove and turn it to a static text, so we don't need to. So I say no, don't continue. All right, okay. so now, what, we, what do we want to do today? We can actually add several things. We can add several things to this. Okay, let's, let me beautify this table a little and make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, I can do that with my border. Um, with this format, I come here, border line, line style. I go tell Excel, okay, I want this. I want all borders. Okay, I'm making this look nice now. I am trying to beautify my table a little. Okay, trying to do a little of this. So I want to make this like this. Let me give it color. Okay. Then I, okay, there's one thing in Excel that you can also, I think you might, might not relate about, is that if you want to adjust the length, the size of the sheet one by one, you don't need to start dragging one by one, just highlight everything, then you can, once you, okay. once you increase one, once you highlight everything and increase one, you see, everything is doing already. Just like I used to do my, you highlight everything, then if you adjust, you highlight everything like this, then if you adjust the size on one, Every other thing is adjust, adjusted. So fine. Okay. So I want this to look nice a little. So gold. So I need to increase this a little. Okay. So we're doing well. We're doing well. We're doing well. So I want to make this look nicer a little. So which color? Okay. Okay, good. So, Negros, now we, we can look at, we can graphically represent any of this information. Now, um, let's, let's do something magical a little. I told you about 3D map yesterday, in the video yesterday, that there's something in Excel called 3D map. Okay? There's something in Excel called 3D map. So you can, like, for example, I want to show a map, a map. I want to do a map that will show the 
cases. I want to represent the data on the map, on the map of Nigeria, yes. So it will show each state and their cases. You get that? Okay. I'm so let's do that. Let's try that. So we, we come here. I have highlighted all that. I want to look at the cases by, uh, so I want to look at the cases first. So I click on 3D map, open 3D maps. Open 3D maps. So we are doing that, by the way, um, you see Excel is doing that for me. So it's, that is going to be triggered by the power view. Power view, so trying to do that. While on that, for those that do stock market trading, the candle, the, your candlestick graph, your win or loss, this is that, then I can use slicer again here. I will still, I will still show you how to use that slicer here, then timeline as well, whereby you have cases, okay, you, can, you want to analyze cases from yesterday, today, tomorrow, then next tomorrow, then, for, okay, for example, I want to analyze from um, May 1st to May 19th, which is today. I, I, I can do that with my timeline, with timeline. So I'm waiting for Excel okay. to load my power, uh, map, my 3D map. Okay, fine. Can you see the map? Okay, you can it's see loading. it. Okay, it's already loaded. I'm coming. I want you to see that. Okay. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes, I can see the map. Can you see? This, can, do you know the yeah, map of Nigeria? Good. Yes. Can you see the map of Nigeria here? You see now I'm pointing to Gombe. Yes. Yeah. affected. Can you see this? Bauchi. Okay, if I click on, can I ask a question, please? Okay, go on. If I click on 3D map, is it that I have to select a country or it just brings it no. automatically? Based on the data that I've highlighted on my Excel here. Okay. Here. This is the map it is yes. working with. This is the data in Lagos. These are the states. All the justice will all Excel the search for the Excel will undo all of that for you. It's going to undo the location for you. Oh, okay. Just make sure it is location. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you, I hope you get that now. So if it wants yes, it's a location, once it's a location, Excel will do that. So all the states in Nigeria, so this is I think Lagos should be around here. This is Lagos. We have here Oshun State. I'm sure this is Oshun State where I'm from. So now let's take our analysis a step further. So we need a type of chart here now that, okay, we want to see what, what can we, see. okay. You know, you can actually, so for those of you that work in companies where you have your, where you have, um, what's it called? You have customers across geographical location. You understand me? Okay. Where you have customers across geographical locations, you have customers in Nigeria, Ghana, China, India, all of those countries. So you can easily use the same type of graph. So to, okay. to show your customers in each of the country, makes your presentation bad and quite understandable. Oh, in, so now from this, let me introduce legend for layer one. Um, I say, okay, I'm trying to, okay, location is state. So each, each dotted, um, this in the blue dots, they are all called layers, layer one, yes, layer two. Yes, yes, So you see now, this is showing you how, okay, I want to remove this, sorry. Okay, I want Excel to, so I can tilt my map with this. Now, look at this. Look at what I'm doing. I'm tilting okay, it. I can see it. So, okay, let's zoom it a little. So, I, I'm trying I have, to... Everything happening, is on, everything happening here is still on that Excel. I'm on Excel That's still. That's same page. Man. I'm still on Excel. Okay. <laughs> it's not as if I opened a new sheet. It's still that no, same page. No, it's still Excel. Okay. So I can I can do map label. See now, I'm doing map label for you. 
So look at this. See, Niger State 1. So this is Ampara State 1. This is Kasina State 1. This is uh, Kaduna State. So I, I'm walking around my state. So you, can you see this? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to. Okay, so I want to change this to number of lab cases. Yeah. So you see this now. Number of lab cases. I'm now doing, I'm showing number of lab cases, number of confirmed cases on my graph. Do you get that? Okay. Oh, okay. Let me quickly. I'll wait for this report by like. Okay, I'll show you just now. I'm moving my graph. I want to zoom it in for you. Uh, let me just explain how. So with this, I'm doing this with the click of my mouse. So okay. you can see from this chart, from this graph, from this map that the lake, the states with the highest number of cases is where Lagos State, with two thousand two hundred four cases. Cases. You get okay. it. I then we have yeah. Hano State followed by that. Then you have another state here, Castina. Then you have. So the number of cases is showing is represented by the length of the graph of the la uh, layer. Yeah, I can play it. Let me play it for you so you can see. So you see, it's going to play. I can ask it to play for you. I can actually. Okay, let me do some little. Okay, let me let's go back a little. You see, go back here now. I can create a video with this. I can create a video with this. Okay. Here, see, you see my create video. Okay. So I can. And I see. It. You see presentation. So I can say. So, um, Max, Max, okay, okay. So we create the video. We're gonna save. Yeah, working on it. So I'm going, I can so you can you can do a whole lot of things with, with Excel for one. Okay, let's say Corona cases save. It's taking time to save my video. Okay. Do you understand? So it's going to, the, video, the video is going to entail just the, the graphical things you have done on of, the yes um, the graphical map, presentation of the my data. Demand. Yes, the graphical presentation of my data. Is what the video is all about. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay. So Excel yes, is Excel is above where you think it actually it actually is. After now, I'm going to cut. I'm going to. We are going to now do the last example on that. Uh, before I, I okay, uh, okay. We, we we can still do a lot of analysis. Okay, let's connect to Wordometer. Wordometer is showing the largest number of data, which is the um, the world's number of data. Let's do Wordometer. Let's go to. Let's do Wordometer now. Uh, okay. I don't know if you know Wordometer. Wordometer is showing as a real time sharing of the world coronavirus cases. So I'll just search corona, corona, um, corona virus on world, oh, sorry, on worldometer. Worldometer. Fine. Okay. You can see it here. So what you what you need to do again, you just copy this, this web address, right? Now okay. see, see the number of cases this is actually doing for you. So I okay, let's just look at the one for the I can I can I may not even do more than I let me do for now. I want to do a current data analysis. So look at this. If you check here. Is this for the whole world? Yes, this is for the whole world. Okay. So if you click on now, click on right, click on now, you see copy linked address. Okay? So I want okay. to be sure this has finished, completed. Uh, should we open this? I will show you at the end of the video. So let's close this. Let's close this. Let's go back to Excel. 
um, let's go to a new sheet now and paste. And the same thing, we go to where data, then get yes. data from web, then from clean web. here the web address. It's going to tell you this, yes, tell it, then you go. So let's wait for Excel to do the magic again. <laughs> You bet, I bet you don't know that Excel could do this before now. So, well, I didn't know. So what you just need to do is look at your organization you're, you're working. Look at, you can do a, world, a short analysis of your customers spread across the globe. Oh, we have 200 customers in Nigeria, 200 customers in Ghana, 200, you get that. Yes. Okay. Okay. I need to tell it yes because I'm doing an unsecured web attack. This is, this is actually what they in programming, they call this web scraping. Web scraping. For those of you that you know when they say scraping, you are scraping your pot. You can scrape yeah, pot now. From, the top. Uh -huh. yeah. from the scratch. I get it from the scratch. Yes. So import. Again, so we wait for Excel to do the magic again like it has done earlier. So it's telling us that's not where it wants to paste the data. I say, okay. Do it here for me. So you see now today is getting that it's getting data from now today of Godometer. It's running the background query. You can see it here. Contacting the server. So you are so if for example, um okay. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be so I'm going to be walking you through how to do better analysis with this on Power BI. Let me show you what Power BI is like. Okay, uh Power BI. Power BI is another very great tool that I promised I was going to walk you through. Power BI. Power BI. Let me launch my Power BI. You have to install that in the system. Yes, you have to install Power BI. You go to Microsoft Office Store. Like for those of you on Windows 10, go to Store here. Store, then you download Microsoft Power BI. Make sure you have enough data while you're doing that because you're downloading like 400 and something MB. Now that's the latest version. 400 and something M megabytes. Is what we are downloading. Then, okay, let's go back to Excel and see. Okay, Excel, give me some time. Um, okay. Hold on. Okay. Well, this is actually open. I'm waiting for it to, waiting for it to open. Okay. Okay. I'm actually, okay, because Power BI is starting Excel, will not, I, I can't go to my Excel for now. Okay, maybe. So what we're going to do basically is, now I can actually bring total number of cases on from each country, USA, Russia, I think Russia is now the, wow. Russia is having the second highest number of cases. I think they are, they are peaked to, USA is actually declining, they are on the decline, they are on the decline gradually. They are, they are getting better, the country is getting better with their, Number of cases. Nigeria, okay, we've not reported. Nigeria has 6,175 cases already. We are across 5,000 mark. Wow. I just hope the whole get better. All get better. All get better and get back to our work as soon as we can. Okay, we're well, good. So my Excel is open now. So you see my Wordometer data here. So I'm going to bring it okay. to where actually we need to analyze here. You see the list of the countries. And the good thing is, so this is what I used to teach you slicers. Now let's, the same way we did, the same thing we did earlier, we're gonna copy all the countries that I reported here. We have 215 countries. So I copy them. Then I create a new sheet and I say, uh, I'm linking that, okay? So let me go and get an header for this. Um, okay, an header. Hey, sorry, I made a mistake. I'm supposed to do just do like this. I need to make sure my copy is not insert. Okay, fine. 
I come here, but I have to come back here um, so I can copy the headings for the data. Okay. I don't need to dig this, this is already started. Fine, so number, serial number, country, serial number, country, total, new cases, total, new, so total, I think this is, let's, let's check this, total, 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 active cases, serious cases, total cases, death, total death, population, in billions of continents. So I can do a lot of things with this data, sincerely. Now let's let's look at, let me show you first what Slicer can do. Um, what does the Slicer do? Okay, let's let's just highlight everything now. I want to insert, insert a Slicer. A slicer. Slicer is always at the Insert tab. Then come to Slicer here. Now, so, okay. Oh, I'm not creating a data connection yet. This workbook, I want to connect this workbook. Okay, I'll work around that. I need to make this a table before that. But if I make it a table, I will lose some things. So let's, let me quickly show you how to make this, do this on word map. So, the same way we did earlier. Okay. Map. New tour. You tell it's new tour because this is still in existence. The one we did for Nigeria is in existence. So, still there and up running. So, wow. We have the world map. We want to look at. So, we are bringing that on the world map again. Yes. So, yeah. Okay. This is working. Adele is working now. Ready to show you cases in all the country. So, so okay. Remove this. So, by country. Coming. Coming. Country. The height. So, trying to. Okay. Okay, I'm trying, it's still loading all my cases, it's still representing the data. I can change my map type. Let me see the flat map. How can and I change my map type? Flat map, you see map, flat map. A map I'm, I'm going to switch on map labels now. Okay. You see now, so all the countries of the world, so I can easily see. Algeria, you see now, here I'm in Algeria, Algeria has total number of 7,201 cases. I can turn my map, Portugal is here. Okay, Say question please. Okay, go on. Once I'm able to activate this 3D map, Sorry? it will populate, but once I'm able to um, start up this um, 3D map, Yes. It will, it will populate both the countries and numbers of cases right automatically exactly. exactly make sure they are highlighted everything okay whatever i highlight is what's going to show on the map exactly okay let's change i want to change it to e visualization to each map you know each map is used for can be used for stuff like this like each map you want to see how intense it is this is each map so we are i want to change it to each map instead of so each map will just circle around this is, let me bring it into total to the world. Look at it, this is the world. Okay, let's see this. We have different types of visualization here. Different type of visualization. 
this is another. This is called is under one to visualize, under visualization. Uh, so by the time you just once one thing is by the time you, with this now you can just click on one place. Oh, here Russia, you see thousand like you can see like it's showing you that here is badly eat. This is Africa here. It's actually still loading. Okay, okay, I can see. This is Africa here. This is Nigeria. Then a Republic. Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger Republic, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Guinea, Sierra Leone, do you understand? Senegal, Mauritania, it should be under Morocco, Morocco should be each side, Portugal, Spain, France, like crossover, Switzerland, UK, UK. Denmark, do you understand what we are doing now? So let's see if we can play this. So, so what, what, what I can say now, once I click on any country, to so bring up the numbers of cases. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. And this kind of thing, I can actually update it on, I can upload it like this on a website after doing the video. Yes. Mm, yes. So that when people come online and they click on it, they can actually see that, okay, oh, this is the number of cases today. Yes. So let's and because move. I have used linked, I've used um linked um data. paste like link link data. So yes. if it updates, you can actually update for me too on this graph. Can you I update on this um three? Yes, it will update immediately. See, it has a refresh data too. Okay, so it will update here too. Exactly. Mm. Okay, I think I'm, I understand very well now. Okay, so let me show you this on. Uh, Oh, sorry, um, Fabola Allah, okay. Sorry, I didn't. I, yes, can you? Are you with me? Yes, I am. I am. I'm okay, good. I'm okay, okay, okay. I want to be sure that you, you're getting it. Hope you're getting it. Yes, I am. So, it's a okay. same extent. I didn't okay. join on time, so there's some okay. things I probably don't. Okay, but you can the video will be available on YouTube or on our website shortly. After, okay, after the training, I'll check. You can watch from the beginning and which field, in which area, oh, which field do you apply? Um, would you want to apply your Excel knowledge like that? Yes. Go on. Uh, well, I would just like to. I would just like to learn, um, like generally the principles of Excel. I don't have something in particular or particular okay. fields. Let me just show you. Let me before we go for to, before we leave today. Let me just show you something okay. simple again. Now this is another. This is Power BI interface, and Power BI is strictly for that. Can you see Bob? Can you see this screen now? Yes. Yes, I can. Power BI is strictly for um data visualization. You understand? Okay. So what can I do with Power BI? So what I can do is yeah. now let me let me let, let, let me show you a little thing. Now let's save this workbook. Let's save it as um save as um okay. Um uh, training, okay. Let me see. Okay, let's save it as COVID cases and I save. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be visualizing this data here on Power BI. Now, okay. that means I'm going to connect this application. What you did, you basically do with Power BI is you connect it to external data or data data in any database to for for visualization. So let's connect to Excel. So you see here, uh, import data from a a Microsoft Excel workbook, so I click on it. You know, give me that. Sorry. 
okay so it's asking me where my data is i'm going to look for where my data is here okay i said it here training so covid night covid cases open so for example your boss asked you okay um Sandra, give us um uh, we need you to analyze um the you know what okay we have complaints clients complaints this this month and we need you to do us mm. a presentation on um the number the reason why clients are complaining or causes of complaints so you can have a see an excel sheet where you call all the company okay those are complaining about price complaining about product default complaining about time complaining about this so of clients are all where they are located then you have that in one place okay then you bring it to your Excel. Okay, so on my sheet. Okay, let's try the Nigerian data. We should be on sheet two. So let's select this sheet two. It's evaluating preview. So what do you do? We just say, now you can transform data. You can change it. You can still edit this data even on, on Power BI without affecting what you have in your Excel. Excel. So okay. you load, we are loading the data now. Fabia is loading it. You see, it's processing it. It's processing it. Okay. It's creating, creating connection in data model. What it's going to do is, exactly, this Power BI is going to direct, automatically create a link between Power BI and your Excel. The two are great. Okay. So if there's any correction in Excel, it's corrected here automatically by the refresh button. Okay. So, so when you're doing your 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 report, well, maybe the only way. Sorry, there is this number that has to change. It's not 15, it's 50. Just change it in your Excel, refresh here, bam. You don't need to do a new chart. You don't need to do anything. It's going to go live. By tomorrow, we're going to be looking at, for example, okay, we're going to be building a Google form, and we're going to be looking at how to connect Excel to Google form, then Google form to Power BI. Then we're going to look at how you can move it from Power BI to your mobile phone. So on your phone, for example, let's say, let's say you, are, you, are, you are the sales, you, are the, you own, you own um, a supermarket. Okay? okay? You own a supermarket, then your your what's it called? Your your salespersons they sell with they record sales with Google Form. You know, Google Form has um up to about two million respondents. You can record two million, so you can have monthly records for your 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 sales. So now you record. So we on which time why you are why they are keying in their what's it called? Yes, okay. Customer A comes in, buys biscuits, buys shawarma, buys this, pay. Then the amount. So by the time it goes straight from when um, your Google form captures the data, it goes straight to Google Sheet to your Excel, Excel on your system. Then from Excel to your Power BI desktop. Then Power BI desktop publishes the report straight to your mobile phone with the Power BI mobile app. So even you are elsewhere, you can monitor what's going on in your going on in your shop with your mobile phone. And you are not so doing everything, everything the updates automatically, right? On real time. Real time basis. Okay. Real time basis. Okay. Wow. So it just goes okay, so from Google Forms, it goes to the Google the responses are uploaded on Google Sheets. Yes. Go, from and, Google and, Forms, and then you don't have to okay. From Google Form, it is downloaded to your Google Sheets. From Google Sheets, you there's a way you get it from Google Sheets straight to Excel. From Excel to okay. Power BI. Okay. The connection is that's more what we call automation. You're automating your data flow, your workflow. The data is flowing and it is automated. You don't need to copy and paste. You have built the link already. Okay. So let's do this. Let's quickly analyze this. States affected. You see, my fields are here. So I can say, okay, states affected here. Okay. We're going to bring that, pull all of those states that are affected here this is much more interactive and better please okay i uh, want you to show me just their names mm. 
Sorry. Oh, sorry, I think I'm getting, okay, I want to change this. This is actually doing um, a different chart for me. Okay. I'm looking at the number of deaths. So let's, let's not talk about that. Let's look at number of discharged persons uh, states now. So from this chart, From this chart, I can look at number of okay, discharge. So, so, sorry, let me ask a question. Okay. This Google BI can we bring in some we bring up something like a chart, right? Yes, it's majority for visualization. Okay. So okay. now. Okay. So I want to also ask. So for the for the visualization, from mm. what I'm seeing by this idea, you can visualize in different ways. Yes. So you can either chats. or is it only by using Okay. Different charts. Okay. I can change it to a map like a chart like this. I can change it to a pie chart. I can change okay. it to a map. To so this is a map. You see? Yes. This should be Lagos. By zoom. this is a map. Okay. This is a map. I can use this field map. This is another map already again that we can use. This is the map is powered by Bing. You can use different type of chart. Bing, uh, Bing is Microsoft. Okay. okay. We, we can do a lot of things. So I can have, uh, okay, let me just go back to what I want to show you. On this, what I actually want to show you is much more, a little bit more inter interactive. Okay, I want to see. Okay, do, do I need a special key or anything for this um, BI to work on my Power BI to work on my laptop? Just download, create a Just download and I install and it Yes. Yes, it's that simple. So I can create a new chart of um, a number of, now this is number of discharge by discharge cases. So let's look at number of if, like, okay, let me now do another chart of number of infected persons. And I say states, select my states, the number of Cases, I want to be sure. Number of cases confirmed. Okay, good. Now, look at what Excel, okay, I can minimize all of this and fine. Now look at it. Okay, okay, let me still do something a little more. Let me still do something a little more. Let me still add something a little more. I want to add one more thing down here. Let me bring my card here. And say, okay, states affected. Okay, fine. Now let me show you this. Okay, you see states affected. If I click on here now, you see now, it's telling me the states I am on, which is Lagos. Can you see this? Okay. Yes, yes I can see. Okay, let me, okay, let me add something to it. Um, okay, I'm trying to see, okay, it's telling me there's an error. I want to do something for you. Oh, okay, if this error doesn't go. Now, what it's telling you is this. If I click on any state, 
Kano. It's telling number of states of, you see, it's drilled down. It's real time. Like 840 persons, 842 persons have been infected. I wanted to show you the number of, I wanted to show you this to show you the number of cases. Okay. I think it's because of the error. Sorry, hold on. Okay, then um, go back. Okay. Make this um let's make it bigger. I want to make this bigger. What I'm trying to do for you is I want you to be able to see this very well. Okay, now you see if I select any state here. So, hello. So that's all. Thank you. 